Hey there everybody, my name is Ikadem Moore. Welcome back to another video of NHL 19 Franchise Mode. We're gonna continue this series. My voice is cracking for some reason. I don't have any voice today. Um, we're basically, in the last video, we finished up the season. We went into the playoffs. Uh, we're gonna face off first against a team that's pretty similar to ours. Uh, St. Louis Blues. They've got pretty much a similar record and everything in the last 10 games as well. Uh, I already checked their roster. They've got a pretty depth team in the uh, offensive wise, so they're pretty dangerous to say the least. They've got a good defense, but I'm, I've got a better defense and a better goaltender. Now, I don't know what happened, but my game crashed. Um, I already did this simulation. Uh, we ended up losing, for Christ's sake, and I, I hated that. My game crashed right afterwards, so it's kind of a sign game. A sign we gotta win this time all right this time around my game crashed it's i restarted it we're back at the beginning before we started the simulation and everything it's time to go man it's maybe the last year of ov this last chance so let's go guys uh, oh no actually i thought pekka rene was better but i forgot pekka rene is kind of uh he's slowing down big time guys he's actually 84 overall now so, who's the best goaltender, really? Um, how did he do in the playoffs? How does he do? Uh, how do they do? So, he's terrible in the playoffs. Great. What about him? What about uh, Pekka Rene? Pekka Rene is actually better in the playoffs. We need Pekka Rene. We need Pekka Rene and we need these guys to produce right away, alright? I've got a good lineup. So, I don't want any excuses right here. I want my team to produce. Let's go guys, you know what to do, you know your job, I know you can do it, just do it, just win against St. Louis, I need at least a win, don't get, don't get shoot out completely like uh, before it, the game crashed, alright, I don't want to see a 6-0 or something, alright, at least get a competition if you lose, like give something, so I'm just going to simulate like this, it's going to be better I believe, Derek Stepan ends up shoot, uh, scoring anyways, now, Pekka Rene, you need to stop them from scoring, all right? Don't give them too many goals. If you don't give to them too many goals, it's not this, uh, it's not gonna, like, it's gonna give a chance for our players to come back, all right? This is the first period. Last time, before the game crashed, he gave up three goals in one period, guys, which was re ridiculous. Now, he gave one goal, but it's only one goal. We can come back from that easily. Let's go, guys. I believe in you. You can shoot. You can score. You only got 12 shots so far. Let's go, guys. Oh, no. Power play for them. There we go. I don't know who took the penalty, but that was a bad idea. Who taking? Who's taking the penalties, guys? Stop taking those. All right. We're coming off to the third period, guys. Third period. Shit, I'm scared. I'm scared, and I don't want... <laughs> I want my team to win. I want my team to win, guys. I don't want to... To right away do the draft pick and everything. Like I want my team to do something. I'm tired of just not winning the cup. Or not going far in the playoffs at all. Like it's like I'm a terrible GM. For s I'm trying everything. Every cheat possible. I'm still a terrible GM. I don't want this. Alright. I want my team to have success. Let's go. It's uh, have su Having success is making it far farther than one round. You know. Fuck you Jaden Schwartz. Oh my fuck. Fuck, he just gave up. Oh, well, it's over, guys. Schwartz decided to fuck us over. And Tarasenko is right there behind him. Oh, I, I hate him. What the... Well, our team is garbage in the playoffs. What the actual living fuck, guys. We lost... F we got shot out 5 to nothing. Oh, my shit. What makes the St. Louis Blues so good that they can shoot shut us out? We're the goddamn K Seattle Krakens. We can't score a goal in one game. Are you kidding me, game? We're going to the draft pick, I guess. Fuck, this time the game's not gonna crash. Of course, it's the same record anyways as the last previous game. I should've changed the lineups. Would've known, I should've known. The Blue Jackets, Columbus. They won the cup, guys. I hate this so much. I can't make it far at all, at all, guys. I can't do anything. That's what's frustrating about this is no matter how, mu how many good players I put in my team, 
the team just is not going to produce. It's not going to play well for some reason. It's just going to continue to lose, get eliminated for no reason. Like, I thought Pekka Rene was supposed to be good. Even if he's 84, he's supposed to be good in the playoffs. He's cheating the bed, giving four or five goals a game. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Dallas Stars are going to be the first overall draft pick. All right. Well, it is what it is, guys. I, you can't. We can't do everything, right? We're gonna go right into the five, uh, fifth season. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to go as far as possible, guys. Honestly, I don't care. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go as far as possible until we do win the goddamn cup because we were gonna win it someday. If, even if we have to wait goddamn twenty years to do so, we're gonna do it because I swear this goddamn game hates me. I can't just. I. I can't do anything. Getzlav um, retired. Zetterberg as well. All right. We got Rick Nash as well. We've got Jason Spezza on Montreal Canadiens for some reason. Finished in the AHL probably. People Stashney and everything. So a bunch of good players. Uh, two legends in total. We've got two other legends in defense in Duncan Keith and Brent Seabook. So. Uh, Chicago is losing their players now. They definitely lost their legends. Uh, Mark Giordano and all this stuff. All right. We got goaltender wise. Do we have somebody? We Yeah, we do have another legend. So five legends in total. Ryan Miller uh, being the fi fifth one. 423 wins in his career. Anderson, Mike Smith. Pretty good, uh, um, pretty good career in themselves as well. Now we're gonna look at what we got on our hand. Did we lose any any player? I wanna I wanna see if we lost any players, guys. So we did end up losing uh, Jordy Ben, which was he was playing in the minors. That's fine. And Chris Verstig playing in the minors as well. And goaltender wise, we did not lose anybody. So just these two players right here. Let's go. Um, we don't have anybody this year that's actually apparently any former player that decided to be a, uh, um, a, a scout. So nobody decided to be that. We're going to go right into the draft pick. Not wasting time. I'm making this quick so I can may go right into the play the season. Now, here's the thing. We're doing good in the season. But we're not like doing overly good. Which means that in the playoffs we're in trouble. That's the problem. We're starting to make it to the playoffs and then when we make it to the playoffs we're facing off against team like goddamn St. Louis Blues who are this basically the same team as us and they get the short hand. Uh, they get the long stick basically. We get the, the the short stick which is really garbage. If I gotta say it like that it's really garbage. We got the 25th pick. Is that it? Yeah only the 25th pick so we can only move so far with that. One, two, three, four, five. All the way to the 15th pick. We're going to try to move as far as possible, guys. You already know. Get the mo as much prospect as possible. See what we can uh, trade in exchange for that. We might have a rookie skater here. We got these two players coming in, of course. These two players. Um, when did I draft them? This is a second round pick, guys. This is a beautiful pick right there. This is a first round pick. All right. All right, so... Let's see what we can uh, give them. We can probably give them something. I I cannot give them that. I probably can give them a top six or a top. Yeah, one of these two. I'm gonna give them these. Uh, this guy right here because he's he's garbage. He's never gonna play in the NHL. They don't even want him. All right, that's gonna be a problem. In that case, uh, that means that I'm gonna have to give them a low elite probably, which I'm not excited about giving up so I am not giving that up no I'm not gonna give that up so we're ca we can't move out unfortunately guys not possible we're not going to be able to move out this year um, or actually maybe we can do we have do we have more than two uh, second rounds actually we don't have any second rounds, so it's not even worth mentioning let's just go into uh, our draft pick Let's see what they drafted first overall this year. 83 overall, friend, medium franchise, Stasiak, a crazy player. 80 overall, medium elite right there. 81 overall. This is one of these players, this guy right here would have been great to have on our team. Uh, 79, 81. So a bunch of medium elites, really good players. 
I, I feel like we got a, a plenty of room guys to have a good player on ourselves just gotta figure it out who is the good player really so let's see what we got as an option obviously top six uh, uh, d-man and top six forward now uh, top six forward is better so it would be this guy but um what is his stats really so has pretty, pretty good stats 70 uh, 17 years of age though i'm kind of like i have a chance to have a, an elite i might as well pick the elite you know if i got the chance um now this guy seems to be the better choice i believe we got a medium franchise possibly i'm pretty sure he is a medium franchise 55 or 45 overall in positioning i might be tempted to pick him even though like look at the stats it's garbage E -E. so he's never gonna play in the NHL but it's a good like it's a good chance for us to get something out of him S get a good a decent prospect we can probably trade for a really good player you know something like that uh, Morada so I guess we, we have these two players we can try or lock on um, these three players in total because I know I don't have a second round pick so these players right here is is what I can pick up. Uh, Pune and Avarov. So who could be the best options? Because I feel like the franchise player, a goaltender, could be the best option. Oh, this guy has some really good stats though. He's got some A's in there. Uh, this guy might have some A's, but we don't know for sure. Okay, so it's either I pick up the medium franchise. because I know he's going to be a medium franchise, guys. Or I pick up... This guy right here, which we know for a fact, he's got some really good stats. He's 18 years of age. I'm going to pick up this guy, guys. I'm pretty sure he's, a, he's a, he is an elite. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's an elite if he's not too bad. Uh, Punenovs, I've got a pretty good, strong feeling about him. So, oh my god, medium top line. Oh, this is going to be a bad video, guys. Terrible video. Oh, it's going to be a terrible video for me. All right, then. We're going to miss out on the franchise goaltender I should have picked. Should have picked them, guys. I'm just stupid. That's what that's what it is, really, right? I'm just a terrible, terrible guy. Should have picked up the medium top six while I was at it, even. God damn it. I knew this was not going to work. Well, let's pick up the uh, lower league guaranteed, just to be sure, all right? Not messing around anymore. I'm picking up the guaranteed and afterwards we'll pick up uh, what we can so this guy right here what let's see what we can get really so I'm not picking these guys up I don't know if there are medium elites for sure all right they don't seem like they are uh, this guy is for sure not a medium elite and uh, to know if there are medium elite or not you gotta be three bars there are only two bars scouted I don't trust that at all I'm not trusting that, so we're gonna have to go for. There we go. Three bars means there are definitely l low st top sixes. We got a medium top four right here, so might as well pick up that defenseman right here. We gotta get as much like uh, prospects as possible, good prospects for to trade for, as possible for draft picks. Now the elite players is the ones that I'm gonna be tr like uh, trading for. Uh, good players this year. All right, I'm gonna be trading definitely them for good players. So let's see what we got right here uh, We do have some low a uh, low top four right here, but we got some low top six as well Now there's this guy or this guy Porker uh, Porker Ken it seems like he's got pretty decent stats. This guy's a gem though um, I'm gonna try my luck on uh, this guy first because the other guy is got a long ways to go so top nine actually, he's not even a top six. That's terrible for us. Okay. At least we didn't get any bottom sixes just yet, guys. We didn't get any bottom sixes, so at least that's a good thing. We're gonna go for, I guess, um, low top six a sniper. See this guy sniper? I don't know, guys. Um, this guy probably. I'm gonna go for the gem. I wanna go for the gems, guys. It's important to go for them. Low elite. Oh, there we go. We got a low elite in the fifth round. There we go. There's some uh, draft. Uh, there's some uh, potential pick that we can uh, maybe basically trade or something. 
Now this guy might be good, it might not be, I don't know guys. Let's see what we got as an option right here. So top six, we got a top four right here. I I would say, Enyan, who's the best option? 19 years of age? Absolutely not. 18 years of age. What about the top four right here? 18 and the starter. I don't need goaltenders, so I'm going to stay. It's either one of these two. Who's got the best option? Hendrix, do you, I feel like the defense, the defenseman has the best option right here. So let's see. Low top six. It's okay. It's fine. All right. Seventh round pick. I'm doing this quick, guys. I don't care about the draft picks anymore. I really don't. You can see it. Um, and I might as well. No, I don't want to pick up this guy. That's the problem. That's the thing. Uh, might as well pick up the medium top nine just to be guaranteed. Actually, we might as well take a chance. Really, there's a there's some low elites, medium elites pair possibly right there. So might as well pick them up, right? We don't know. We never know what we might find. There's this guy right here that's got a, a good potential, a good chance. These two guys got a good chance of being actual elite. Um, not entirely sure if it's going to be the case or not. Well, let's see. I think this guy's got a better chance. Yeah, he got a better stats. So let's pick this guy up. Uh, come on, pick him up. So let's see if he is. He's a low top nine. All right. It's, it's fine. He's fine. 60 overall. And we're good. So not a good draft pick at all. We could have gotten a, me a medium franchise. I knew he was a medium franchise for sure. Could have got him that as a goaltender, but instead I went for the risk and it didn't pay out at all. I got a medium top nine instead, which is terrible for a first round pick. Terrible guys, but it is what it is. Just like I'm not a good, I'm not a good uh, GM at all. For some reason, I'm a terrible GM guys. And uh, I hope to switch that this year by trading a bunch of my actual prospects. So I've got a lot of elites, a lot of low elites, the ones that are not apparently going to be ready for the league all right i am going to trade them for better players that are actually right now elite players or really good players that can help us out and win the cup and everything like really i need i need us to win i need us to win to be a good winning team to be something that is scary i need us to be a scary team all right contract time let me guys uh, skip that for you. I'll uh, show you guys the players that are still left in the team afterwards. All right, so here's our contract, guys. I've signed pretty much everyone I needed to sign. Uh, right now, we got uh, we are in need of a centerman. Actually, we need of one centerman to play in our team. We've got Ala, Johnson, and Nash are still there. All right, uh, Simon. And Kovanov, all these players are... Arison is one of our prospects. I needed to sign him because he was getting off... Uh, I, I, need, I didn't have a choice but to sign him. So we got the players. We just need one player for the sentiment, sentiment position in our team. Ovi is dropping off big time slowly but surely. As you can see, 87 is pretty much... It's probably going to be 84 or 83 overall by the end of the year, guys. From the looks of it, because he was 81, 91 when, he, when we took him. He's already 87 now, so after one year. So uh, it's going to be rough for us to keep that guy. He's got one more year with us. One more year. And afterwards, I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to keep him. If he doesn't retire... I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him, guys, because he's dropping off big time. I don't think I'm going to have the place for him. Uh, we got all these players. So Lafreniere, of course, Vanek. Now, I don't know if Lume is going to be actually ready. And if so, we're going to have to replace Vanek. We're going to have to get rid of Vanek, guys. But Lume uh, is a depth forward so, so far, so we're good. Uh, we don't need uh, any left wingers. We, need, we do need a right wing, both in the minors and, the, uh, and in the, uh, the NHL as well. We got Kucherov and Nieminen, which Nieminen is already growing as you can see. It's probably going to grow by two overalls or one overall as well once the season starts. Now, Fast, Jesper Fast, I'm not entirely sure if he's going to grow or not. Uh, he's not going to grow, but I mean, he, he's pretty good. So we got him. We need a, a right wing for both positions as well as you can see. D-man, we need a minor D-man. Of course, we already have all of our six defensemen, as you can see right here. I had to get rid of, um, what was his name? 
the guy that was always playing bad the entire year he finished pretty well but i had to get rid of him um i'm not i don't even remember his name but anyways we, we do need a demon for the miners as well we also need a goaltender for the miners all right because raiden i got rid of pekka rene uh i still had one year left with him but i just got rid of his contract all uh, entirely because i knew that raiden was already a back of goaltender uh, goaltender is already ready for the league guys so he's 20 years uh, 21 years of age it took him uh, so that means it took him uh, all four, four years to actually be ready for the league, which is fine. We got him now. He's getting ready. So let's just go into the um, free agency and we'll see what we can get out of that. If we can't, if there's some people that are missing that we still need. Scouts now renew, uh, not renewed. Uh, USA East. Okay, we're going to need to renew a, a scout for the USA East, I guess. So we don't have any USA East right here. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's get ourselves a USA East, guys, really quick. Really important to have a scout for every place. Um, let's just see USA. Now let's see what we got as an option. We got two good options right here. USA East, might as well pick this guy up. No, Mike Standard, I think he's gonna be a good player, a uh, good scout right here. There I go. That's what I'm talking about. He's going to sign for sure with us. They always uh, accept. There we go. So let's see what we got uh, for free agency. Let's see what we can get out of our ends. Now, oh, we do have a lot of good players here, guys. We got a lot of players. First off, centerman position. Now, centerman, we don't have any first liner, but we do have a second, uh, some second liners here. In uh, Calgary, Grenzel and Rast, none of them are... are we can pick any of them because none of them are old so that's pretty good so Kadri let's see who's the best option really right let's see who's that uh, who's got the best option 87 88 87 okay that's it's already better than uh than this guy uh Victor Ras is actually pretty good though he doesn't have any 70s in there yeah he doesn't have any 70s so you know what I'm going to pick up Victor Rask. Yeah, he's by far, he's the one that the people, the teams want the most. So definitely he's the guy to go for. Even though Kadri is apparent, he's a, I would say he's a good player. But the teams think that this guy, Victor Rask, is a much better player. So we're going to pick this guy up. Let's go. Now, there's a lot of teams that want him. So we're going to have to sign him for 6 mil, guys. 6 mil point four as well. There we go. There we go. Just to make sure he's with us. It's going to be a six-year deal, which is a lot when you think about it. Really a lot. Um, right wing position now. Uh, left wing, just to see really quick what we got. Nothing spectacular. Right wing. All right, so right wing, we do need one for the for our team. So I guess we're going to pick up Chur uh, Churback. We get our Churback, the former Montreal prospect, which got traded to Los Angeles. Now apparently he's in the free agency. As you can see, uh, let's see his stats. He's got some 70s in there for defense, which I'm not a fan of, but um, it's just for shot blocking. And actually, 65, yeah, it's, it's not spectacular, but I think he should do the job, guys. I think he should uh, do pretty much the job. So we're going to pick him up. Uh, there's a couple of teams who want him, so I think we just need to give him, get him to 5 million. There we go, 5 million right there. Let's get a short back. He can grow too, so that could be really good for us. I, I don't think actually he's going to grow anymore because he's 26. He might be 27 by the year, the beginning of the year. Uh, we also need, as you guys know, also need a depth uh, forward or somebody to play in the minors. So I'm going to pick up this guy, maybe Yakupov. Is Yakupov any good, really? Does want um, <laughs> former first overall? Imagine that, guys! What a terrible draft pick from the Oilers' part. All right, let's go. Let's see what he is doing for us. Is he gonna be good enough? I don't know. He's 28 years of age. You know what? Let's just pick him up. Just pick him up as a depth forward. It's gonna be good enough for me. Depth. Uh, okay, so D man. Now, D-Man, they do have a top two in the uh, free agency. Top four right here and a top two 
these two players or everybody wants them both teams uh every team wants these two players for some reason i don't i they want that now when you see a team that uh, a lot of teams that are interested in a game in a person in uh, particular that means the person is normally really good plays very good this is the guy right here i i got i had to let go of down no nurse guys i had to let go of him so i might do it no i'm not going to i'm not going to sign him again because it's not important but 88 i might be tempted to pick my uh, morgan riley up guys i might be tempted to beat these two guys up which uh, you know what i'm gonna do i need to bet as as a good as much of a good team as possible so we're gonna pick these guys up uh, this guy's gonna be signed for eight million for seven years guys holy that's a lot so eight million eight point four now i want to be careful here eight million is a lot uh, 29 so i would say Se se seven years is a lot for me so what is uh, seven years exactly seven years um he's gonna be 35 that's a lot guys that's a lot i i want them to s to be at least until 33 to see where they drop off really so you're, you're 35 i would say five instead yeah i would say five instead five years just sign with us for five years buddy all right because uh, I'm not sure how you're gonna play there six years for you. That's fine by me uh, for seven million So apparently this guy we got us uh, he's, he's worth a lot Morgan Riley, isn't he? He's worth a lot. All right, let's just sign him. There we go I think we're good for the rest minor wise. We're gonna have to sign to uh, to trade two defensemen. That's what it means though though uh, Wood spoon we're gonna do a lot of trades this time uh, in this video guys do a lot of trades don't do not any simulation whatsoever just do a bunch of trades and do a bunch of uh, free agency like this so I guess widow spoon would be good enough I imagine uh, yeah I pretty much imagine he's good to be good enough so let's just pick him up guys not wasting time here goalie goalie do we have anybody for goalie don't have any goalies that are spectacular so we're not signing anybody uh we do have well, apparently this goal is worth the risk uh bernier but i i want uh somebody for the miners so let's pick somebody for the miners guys anybody really give some uh, give a chance to cam ward i guess there we go the chance to get some uh get some uh pl gameplay in there for him so i think we got everybody we needed we're gonna uh, simulate until the fifth day, where everybody we know everybody's gonna want to um, is gonna want to sign with us. Hopefully they do because I did switch up uh, switch up the way it was for the contract for Klinberg. But I do want these players, so Rask and everything. The minor players signed with us. Let's see if we got we do get Klinberg and Morgan Riley. Nice. So we got everybody, guys. We got everyone that we wanted and now you know what it's uh it's time to go to the season time to go to simulate to the season actually i need to trade already uh two defensemen so let me just do the trades really quick i still get uh, screwed over for some reason all right we're good we got the trade we, we traded our both of our defensemen now we're gonna wait until uh we get to the actual next season for trading the rest of our prospects the big prospects for bigger better players all right let's do it okay boys so here's what our team is going to look like so far before we do the trades we're going to do the trades for sure um we got ovi playing again with kucherov i want these two to play together even though ovi is dropping off he's already at 86 too he dropped off again um Eventually, he's gonna drop off to the second line because I'm gonna have to play Lafrenia instead of him. Eventually, it's gonna have to happen. But for now, I'm keeping him on the first line with Kucherov. I feel like these two are really playing well together. Instead of Ala this year, though, I'm gonna play Victor Rask. He's a better player overall than Ala. So I'm much uh, more tempted to play him with these two guys. He's a playmaker, anyways. We've got Lafrenia playing with um, two playmakers. So a two way with two playmakers. I don't know how it's gonna go, but. And Yemenin is definitely uh, good now. 
85 overall second liner. I'm really liking him. Playing with Ala and Lafrenia, 84 overall. Lafrenia did not grow too much. I think he should, what he needs is to play in the first line, like uh, like his very first year. But uh, we can't really do that because he's got Ovi in front of him and I don't want to break Ovi and Kucherov off. Uh, we've got uh, Scrimes, which is 83, 82 overall, which I really like. And he's playing with a short back and Tyler Johnson, two really good players, all right, two second liners. So it's a, it's a line of, a really good line right there. And we've got Lume, which is the guy that's going to replace uh, Vanek. Vanek is getting replaced finally, when uh, you think about it. So Lume is ready for the league, guys. He's playing with uh, Riley Nash and Jesper Fast better than him, which is going to upgrade him big time. And we've got, as well, Morgan Riley with Klinberg. Afterwards, Dalene with Carlo. Now, it's dropping off in the top four a little bit. The top six is really good. The top four is kind of weak. We, we, we just need another defenseman that's a top four guaranteed. We should trade maybe Carlo, you know, for a really good top four. And we will have something great, a really great uh, team. So, Yemi, uh, uh, Yekimov's really good. He's already up to uh, 81 overall before we, uh, we went to the... To this date, uh, when we were into the free agency date, it was a 79. So we grew by two overalls, guys. I'm liking it big time. Petrie uh, dropped off to two overalls himself. So he's uh, 80 overall now. So that's pretty much it. And Golden Royals, we got Grubauer as our, ba uh, our starter. And Raiden is our backup goaltender d d big time. He went from uh, for two overalls, guys. He's 80 overall. Right now, so really good. He's going to be ready next year to probably be our starter. I'm pretty sure next year or the next year afterwards. I'm not entirely sure, but soon enough he will be. So I'm pretty happy with the team we've got, but we got a lot of trades we can do to upgrade our team. So first thing we want to do, uh, I'm just going to get done really quick. First thing we're going to do is trade Vanek. All right, trade Vanek. Uh, for maybe I I don't know we have one too many players so I'm thinking just trade Vanek for a draft pick that's all we gotta do really we don't have that much other things we do need a top four D man though all right this needs to go through right now all right this absolutely needs to go through I might even uh, be good enough to take um, take a third round with that a second or third round and uh, Afanasenkov what a name guys. Low elite, low elite right there. He's 83 overall, 22 years of age. He's a top four. He's better than uh, Carlo by far. Let's see what we can get out of him. Can we do that goddamn trade? Can, is it possible, guys? No, it's not. What if I do this? There we go. It accepted. Finally, uh, finally a GM that is not a complete dumbass and wants to make a trade. You know, finally, guys. There we go. So we traded two low elites that were never are never gonna play in the NHL. I'm telling you already, they're never gonna play in the NHL with the the overalls they've got, and they've got Carlo, which is a medium top four, can still grow for one year or two. So he's 82 overall too, but we got a low elite, much younger, uh, much better defenseman. So definitely upgraded in the uh, defenseman part. Uh, there we go. So. Definitely upgraded now, so we're better in the defenseman part. So I'm happy with that. We upgraded our defense just a little bit, just enough, and it's a prospect too. It's just like Yigamov, so he's gonna grow just like Dalene. All these three players have a long years of growth still ahead of them, so that's really good for me. Uh, let's see what we got, really. So I'm happy with that. If we got a third round, uh, a third rounder in the um, Left wing position. I think the uh, right wing position, the center mid position, it means our, our offense is pretty strong. We've got, so one, two, three. Okay, good, very good. Four, very good, all right. So center mid position, I don't need to switch it. The center mid position, actually, I could upgrade my center position since it needs some help, really. Uh, so let me see if I can't do anything about that. Let's see if these two pro if this goes through. If this is a, doesn't go through, fire fuck this game. Like I'm tired, guys. All I've done, 
It's been 20 or 30 minutes right now. I'm just been trying to figure out a trade, figure out somebody that you might want somebody else. Like, I can't do any trades, so fuck it. Fuck it. No team wants to to get to make any trades. All GMs are a bunch of sissies and pussies, so we're just gonna leave them uh, where they are. Very contender team. I want to be a champion team, but it's not gonna be doable, guys. I wanted to make trades, not doable because no team wants to make trades. They're a bunch of sissies. So I guess we're just gonna have to get to play with the team we've got. I mean, we've got a pretty good team, but we could get better sentiments. We could have a better center core. We're just missing a first liner for the center core. We've got a really good second line, a really good third line, a really good fourth line. We, the first line we just are missing one centerman for the four, four, uh, first line we do have Morgan Riley so really the uh, first top two is the top two is great the top four is good top six is good as well so our D-man is good goaltender could be better so we could definitely have a better goaltender but Redden is in his, on his way so it's okay you know I don't, I don't know guys maybe we're just we don't have to do anything and we just got to keep it the way it is. All right. I guess that's how it works. So we're just going to stay. I'm just going to stop it right there. Hopefully the next time, next video, we're going to have a good season. We're actually going to have us also a good playoff this time around. The playoff seems like it's a big problem for us. So remember to leave a like and subscribe for the end of the video. I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.